Ready? Here we go. And action. Welcome back. To Table Talk. This time this is our last one. I don't know. Is it? Welcome to the very it's not. last table. This is talk. not our last table talk. Starring Ricky. Come Ricky, on, come on, on in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ricky on a Table. Ricky, come on in. Welcome back to Table Talk, the show where we answer your questions via the comments, via I the you Reddit, said I think, via the Twitter, via anything, with the hashtag Table Talk. And uh, today we're just going to jump right into it because I was told that if I don't start answering the questions uh, right at the beginning, I will get a whooping. <laughs> a whooping? <laughs> so uh, let's take the first question. Oh, man. Do I look like the dad from Get Out? How much of my sleep mm -hmm. went completely into your coffee at that moment? Sorry. John the mm. Beard. It tastes like Mike. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Says if you could name your own strain of weed, what would you call it? Any strain at all. Hippiepotamus. Smooth Antha. Deathly Jeremy. Smooth Antha, like Samantha, only sm that's the one of the funniest things you've ever said. Smooth Antha? Yeah. I've been saying it for a week straight. <laughs> yeah, Mike, where have you been? And I've been calling myself Smooth Antha. <laughs> she went around the office literally saying that she was Smooth Antha, and you were here that day. Was I? Yeah, wow, for sure. I check out sometimes. <laughs> that, that's extremely funny. I didn't funny. interview him. <laughs> mm. I just said it to you for a week straight, and this is the first time it registered. So I know this Smooth doesn't Anza. ask it. Well, I was gonna ask, what does your strain of weed do? Does it have a special power? Mine, mine makes you more paranoid. Mine takes the hemorrhoids away. <laughs> <laughs> mine makes you think that the cops are outside of everywhere you are. <laughs> Don't open the, oh man. There we go. And one, two, three, this is it. I'm on the board again. That caught it. Good We've line, gotten this though. question before, but we're asking it again. You know, uh, hashtag table chart. If you could choose talk. any superpower. Chaz Williams said, what are some of your favorite YouTube channels to watch? You know, I really enjoy. Rhett and Link. <laughs> Rhett and Link. Used to... Is that two or one? I used to work for them. You just whisper into the microphone. I used to work for them. <laughs> Okay. People comment it. You work for Rent and Link? I'm like, a year ago? This yeah. is the internet. You a always have ago? the same job forever? <laughs> <laughs> Time um, stops you know, according to what I like, I'm typing in the search bar. And I like Super Deluxe. That's a fun channel. I like uh, Hunan Penguin. <laughs> what a Super Deluxe. Which is my own Pepe channel. <laughs> my own Pepe person. What about channel? anybody else? Anybody else have an answer? I've been watching a lot of sneaker reviews. Mm. Like Cousteau, oh, cool. I like Fomer Simpson. This is Fomer Simpson, that's a cool name. The, Fomer Simpson and his brother, Young Buckets, are two of the most likable people. Young Buckets. Even if you don't like sneakers at all, just listen to him talk. Sneaker culture is so interesting. I don't understand anything about it, but I imagine it's a lot like uh, how I feel about cars. cars. Yeah. I can, Bang a ring! We Holy can finish shit. each other's sentences. 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 I like Vic Burger. You guys should check out Vic Burger. I've heard that name before. Oh, because I talk about him a lot. That's probably why. He right. edits videos of me things. My favorite YouTube channel is Magic Mike XXL. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> There's this food one that I've been watching lately called Binging with, I don't know if it's pronounced Babish or Babish. Uh huh. He makes a TV show and movie foods, but he does it their way and then he does it his way. He did all of the foods from Warm It's Always TV Sunny. Movie f oh. So he did um, Riot Juice, he did Milk <laughs> Steak, and he did like a bunch of other gross shit where it's like a grilled cheese with chocolate on it and it's, he does it their way. It's always gross and he just, you can see his hands like move because you can never see his face, but his hands always go like this and he yeah. eats it and it's disgusting. Yeah. Then he makes his own way and then you can, tr he, d he says like the full recipe so you can go make it yourself. So nice. that's definitely my favorite channel right now. Next How to make Doug the bad stuff good. Mm -hmm. Good. Here's another one. I found another one. Oh, okay. It's from Houston Lacey. Uh, you have 10 seconds to live. What do you do? Lay down. That's tough. <laughs> Find somewhere to lay Start down. Start digging my damn grave. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd probably try to sneak one more Snapchat out. <laughs> or one more good tweet, right? <laughs> I'd probably just try to talk to Chris in my last few moments. <laughs> hey, it's Chris there? Just to like get some solace, solace <laughs> or whatever. Just to have any semblance of 
of humanity before our, our last moments just to see what Chris has to say. Like if there's anything that, if anyone could help you cope with your death or the apocalypse, it would be Chris. I would what try if, to make Chris laugh once before. What if you <laughs> die before the 10 seconds because you like got in an accident? That's a waste of your, you picked the wrong thing to do. <laughs> That'd be bad. Oh, like bummer. if you definitely have 10 seconds left, but you're driving when you find out. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It's still close. Maybe if there was another camera, a football <laughs> field behind that one. <laughs> Who's neck? And is it me again? Wow, we went through three already. Hey, this one's small. <laughs> it has the most words on it. John Broadwater says, which state in the U.S. do you always forget exists? <laughs> <laughs> good one. Pretty good. Wyoming? Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware. 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 New Hampshire for me. Wouldn't the this realistically be left out of this conversation? The state that we don't talk about in this conversation. That's true. I mean, Rhode Island. So we I never could just say, Island. I yeah. remember Alabama and Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. You're going to do the whole thing? Can Florida, you? Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. Still 35 to go. Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Germany. Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska is 27. Number 28's Nevada. Mm. I sometimes think Next, Nevada's New Hampshire well. and New Jersey and way down New Mexico. There's New York, North Carolina, <gasps> North Dakota, Ohio. Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, now let's see, Rhode Island, South, Virginia, <laughs> South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, and there's Utah, Vermont, see, I'm though. almost through, Virginia, <laughs> and there's Washington, and West Virginia, too. Could Wisconsin be the last one, or is it 49? No, Wyoming is the last state. Did you say Hawaii? In the 50 states that rhyme, and Hawaii and Delaware. I had left out Delaware. Hello, remember last year, Arizona, Oh, we're doing it. Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii, I said Hawaii already. I would like to see if you played that section of the video. This is how motion. we learned it in elementary school. Alabama, let's go. Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, more Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, India, still 35 to go. Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, go to Michigan, Missouri. Oh, I know that song. Ooh, next, New Hampshire, New Jersey. Can you do capitals too? Albany, 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 Albany. Here's how we Did you learn guys ever all. learn that one song? There's a hole in my bucket, dear Eliza. No, the only song and I learned in school was. It's just about was, uh, this girl that has a hole in her bucket and she's a pilgrim. And then she's like, and then he's like, here, try a straw. And the girl's like, and then a straw is too dull. A knife, the knife is too dull, dear Georgie, do Georgie. And then he goes, then sharpen the knife. And she goes, but the knife is, but the rock is too dry. I don't know. It's a fucking long ass song. Seems like a waste of time. It's a waste of what time, is the and lesson I don't know. From it? I don't know. That's what I was about to say. I don't know the lesson of the song. Long story short, don't be a racist. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I remember the from uh, school was La Fiesta de la Posada, and no, I only know one funny. line from it. And it was La Fiesta de la Posada. So sorry, no. So sorry, no. <laughs> and then it goes lower. <laughs> and. Let's hit this one. Here's the one song. Oh, God Ooh, very damn close. it. Here's the one song I remember from high school. Ooh. Happy birthday for the Ruby Tuesday screw. Is that, and then something about washing the dishes at the end. Okay. Um. What are you doing with that? That's when you have a birthday at Ruby oh, Tuesday. Oh, I got a paper cut in my eye. I feel you're reading wrong. What is the most, what is the most embarrassing moment that has been immortalized on the internet. In general, or us as people? I, I picked out these general. questions, I should know the context. <laughs> I think it's in general. They didn't say you, it says, what is the most embarrassing moment that has been ever Everything that's ever been on Daniel Tosh's show. Yeah, Tosh sometimes he's had hits, but most of the time it's a miss. How just Daniel Tosh? No, I mean, well, he's a, a good comedian. I'm talking about like everyone. Oh, every clip that he has on there? His show. Anytime that okay. someone is like opening <laughs> a- Poor Daniel Tosh. Or the or Michael Richards <laughs> was a bad one. <laughs> Remember when he did that? He had a like a racist moment. Michael Richards is that the guy who plays Kramer? Yeah. Kramer. Yeah, that wasn't great. I think the most embarrassing moments are the ones like I mean I saw this one where these fire trucks were pulling up and this guy was like trying his hardest to unlatch the gate and then it just zooms out to a wider angle and the firemen just walk around the gate. 
<laughs> so that's, stuff like that's always pretty think. embarrassing. That's pretty good. I'm trying to think of a YouTube video. Like one that you just watch and like... I come from years of watching like America's Funniest Home Videos. So it doesn't phase you. So I've just seen like yeah. years of the most embarrassing things yeah. I've ever seen. What about the guy who like goes to dive into his frozen oh, and uh, he pool? Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, smacks his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just really, years of that. I never really liked AFV. It makes <laughs> me feel like kind of sad and like cringy. Yeah, some of them are pretty bad. People hurting themselves I have a tough time with. I don't enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I hated the one where it was the guy that jumped from his roof onto a bouncy ball. Yeah. But the bouncy ball just slid away. And just like the ice one, hits his ass. Yeah, good. That's every embarrassing video is just people constantly hitting their ass. How about no. any video of anyone who's ever walked into a screen thinking it wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a question in here that is like the same question, but it's based on a personal level. And it might be the one you have. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> KT, uh, do you think we were designed for monogamy? That's it. This is the one? <laughs> Great. The... Good stuff. I think it depends on the person. I think some people are open to multiple partners, and they're also open to being you know, with multiple people. But uh -huh. then people like me, I just want to set my sights on one person and lock in and keep them there. Keep He's them in, keep them locked in where? Keep them locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've lived long enough to answer a question like this. I'm 24 and do I you guarantee think, you I've lived long enough. Do you think we are designed as people? I know a lot about us. human anatomy and how we are built. So I figured I'd add that question because I'm a pretty smart scientific guy. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want okay. to question it. I guess I just don't give a fuck who anybody sleeps with for any reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are you designed for monogamy? I well, that's a very personal question, and I don't uh, have the answer. <laughs> Mainly because I don't want to give out personal information on this show. Oh, gonna, fuck! I can tell you one thing about uh, humans, though. Thank you. Um, I did a video about this a while bit back, and. Um, the reason, okay, so uh, there used to be a penis bone. There's a lot of animals that have penis bones, yes. okay? Uh, I did ducks. this video, great video. Um, don't know about ducks, but, and I can't honestly remember, I think there's a lemur, a lemur had a penis bone. And the reason I have a penis bone is because they're effing all these other animals all the time to mate. They're always effing burp, always burp, 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 different uh -huh. animals. Doesn't, they don't have one specific partner. So they just are but constantly humans, way back and this is where you know people saying evolution so if you don't believe in that uh i'm going to talk about it too bad um and basically a large part of scientists... our audience doesn't believe in evolution i don't know <laughs> oh <laughs> what is this roasted no so um but like what this article was saying what this video was saying <laughs> oh god what is that i guess we're gonna find out no that's not the way you find out i was saying it's a fucking Don donut. donut it was a donut, donut. That's what it was. yours yeah all right <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me finish this article that I read yeah, and did please. a video of White Wall about. Anyway, humans, according to scientists, who might be wrong, I don't know, um, the humans lost their penis bone because they're they are monogamous. So over time, penis bone left. One less, but one less thing to because break. Because people keep being monogamous. Does that mean that um, humans are supposed to be monogamous because they don't have a dick bone now? Mm. Does the dick bone make know. you constantly erect? That's what I want to know. Those are the questions I well, want answered. It's not like it's going to get soft. That's true. Fair enough. And we've solved another mystery here. Wow! Great question. Very talk. interesting. I will say this. Nuts. From, a, from like a person-to-person -person standpoint, I don't think you could pay me enough. I was lucky enough through my travels to meet someone who's so awesome that you couldn't pay me enough to go date people again. Like, I would... If you were like, here's $10 million, go on another first date. You so know? your answer is yes. Uh, yeah. That's really sweet. Yeah. I mean, that warmed my heart a little bit. I also Good. am very curious about the penis bone thing, and I want to go back to that <laughs> More instead curious. of your emotions. <laughs> <laughs> it was originally supposed to be just like a uh, just a thought-provoking question, but now I'm really set on what if penis bones still existed? Well, How would we deal with that? Like, we'd be constantly erect. Would we have to just, like, fold up and have... I bet underwear would be designed so differently. I You'd think have, like, that... 
the I think that the penis would stick out uh -huh. of the jeans, so but it would still <laughs> no, but it would still be made the fabric. It would still just be made of jean. <laughs> okay. So the pants would just have like a big thing in the middle. So oh, so it would be like for. So but you'd still be, be pointed, covered. Would it be pointed out or up? I think out towards that would probably you be couldn't bad. even like. But I guess put it to the side well, or put it to a different. Because a bone is hard. Yeah, but you're saying bone attached to like a pelvis. Yeah. And when you get an erection nowadays, You're as right. opposed to the past, uh, so you, you don't want to like it push up. it out because then that's even though like you do, you wouldn't keep it out because it's embarrassing. It's also because it's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. It was pushing it, so you'd have to keep it up. So I think underwear would be designed like this, going uh -huh. like normal underwear, but then it would have another pouch for going up. Or maybe if we have penis bones, people wouldn't care as or much. Or a sleeve. It would have a sleeve. A sleeve. Yeah, exactly. Like an arm. Like an arm. The perfect example has bones in it, but you can go like this. Why don't scientists focus on this shit? You know what I'm saying? This is better than global warming and yeah. everything. Thank you for joining us. Man. Uh, next question. <laughs> Who picked what? Mike just picked the last one. The last one. The last I guess it's me. Okay. This one is coming from uh, Orvis, <laughs> Orvis. Who says, if you designed a Westward world style park, what era and theme would it be? Mine would be dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't know well, what that is. A What's a Westworld style park? Just like if if you Jurassic Park, Westworld, if you're gonna make one, what would it be and why? Uh, the '90s. That way, when everyone is like, "Stop talking about how fucking cool the '90s was," send them then, there. Well, go, go to the '90s. Were the '90s even that cool? I thought they were cool. I think every generation where you're like, where you have your funnest moments as a kid um, is like the coolest. When you didn't have any like real responsibilities and you were just like, I'm going to eat Dunkaroos and see how long Dunkaroo. I can grow my hair. <laughs> mine, would be, mine would be right now and it's just a large fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> so would your park just kill people? A park. <laughs> Imagine as big as a park is. And that's a, a fire. It's a fire. <laughs> you can see it from space. It's like Mars's like giant red spot. <laughs> and then you can pay two thousand dollars if you want a special fire suit to walk through the whole thing. But that's only for rich people. <laughs> Is there like a fast pass type situation? Fast pass for the burn. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> you only, have to wait. So only the rich get to be safe. It's okay. <laughs> the theme of the park. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, a it's a catchy park name. I would just do no, that's Bioshock. Not the name of the park, just the theme. <laughs> okay. Mine would be Rapture. The theme is 2017. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. And, oh. Here we go. All right. Uh, and here we go. Oh. Hmm. Still pretty close. And Very interesting. Close. Interesting. Is it you or me? Interesting. Yeah, I'll just take all of them. I'll read them all. It's the last table talk. <laughs> do you have any? Oh, this is a fun one. Allie, Alan. Allen? Allen? Or Allen? Allie, Allen. 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 It comes to being someone's friend. Example, yeah, she's cool, but she blank, so I could never be her, her friend. friend. Hashtag table talk. I feel like I have a lot now that I'm older. So I already have like enough friends, so I mm. look for reasons not to be, to be with, like, yeah. there's no reason why we should talk all the time. Is there like a big reason? I don't like like liars. I don't liars. like fake people. What, why? How do you decide? <laughs> it's just, uh, I know a lot of people do. I know a lot it's kind of people don't lie to opinion. me that I'm a hot piece of ass. <laughs> I need a friend that goes, you look hot in that. And it, I don't, but it's like, yeah. Well, it's a feel good. I need somebody to, uh, what was the other one? Liars and... Fake people. Fake people. How do you decide Which are kind fake. of liars. Well, when they're like one way to you and then you hear from other better friends that they're talking about you. Oh, shit. That kind of stuff. That's pretty juicy. No, none of my friends ever tell me anything. When they're so, a different friend around each one of your friends. I'm assuming that I'm the fake friend. You because, might be. Yeah, honestly. You've never been fake. I think you're too weird to be fake. I think you can't help but be yourself. Well, in all fairness, I'm the same how I am right now on Table Talk as a like offset as well. That's true. Actually, I'm probably a lot worse offset. I probably say a lot wor worse things offset. I couldn't point to any specific times, But you know they're there. But I know that they're <laughs> <laughs> What about you, fake friends? And you... Yeah, I just like hot people. <laughs> <laughs> Deal breaker. Mm. If you're not hot. 
getting like mad at me for shit that like mm. I was like, no. Yeah. You know, when people get mad at you and you're just like, why? Oh, yeah, those you don't are like annoying. get mad at you too much. Yeah. I don't want a friend that's mad at me all the time. They're not friends. Yeah. People that get mad at you, I've had those. People that fake. I had this group of friends that shunned me. And I don't know. I didn't know why. I was like, you guys want to hang out? Mm. Group of people. They said, I don't want to hang out with you. But they didn't say that. I just had to figure it out. And then we got on a group call one day, and they said, you think you're better than everyone else. And <laughs> it I was sounds like, like a cult. I was Total like, fun. I was like, oh, okay. I just, I was like, all right. Uh, okay, bye, guys. <laughs> they were like, why are you laughing? <laughs> I was laughing on the phone, and I was like, all right. You know when somebody says something that you know is true, but you don't know that they know it? That's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you can't. It's fine. Uh, I'm past that, uh, those people, and uh, it's fine. Do you think they're watching this right now? No. Where are they? Who knows? God bless. God bless. <laughs> this one says. Uh. <laughs> oh, this one looks like it's going to be a good one. Have you ever had diarrhea? If so, when? What was your favorite part about it? Thank you so much. <laughs> Joey Garza says, Will is now the president of the United States. How do you prepare? Yikes. What would Will do as president? Well, I'd probably buy a helmet. When Will ran for mayor, his uh, slogan was to make LA's water better. Now, if you do any research, the only thing wrong with LA's water is that there's a little bit more iron in it yeah. than other places. So it's not particularly bad, the okay. tap water here. So I would prepare myself by probably just like, mm, I'd stock up on food that isn't soylent from when the mandatory everyone must eat and drink soylent. You're putting Whitney out of a job. Oh, um, fuck. I would stock up on soylent, and you can find some here at this promo code. <laughs> Cut to a clip. Soylent is made out of people. <laughs> keep working, Whitney. <laughs> Hashtag keep working, Whitney. Are we able to put a clip in of Whitney's soylent thing? I hope so. I don't know how that works. Um, I, oh, actually, I didn't uh, answer how I would prepare for Will's presidency. No. That's a tough one. Uh, I mean, I don't think he has, uh, I don't think he's prepared mm. at all to run for president. So here, in this scenario, if I didn't already launch it at Zach's mouth, he's already president. So he's already president. So then you're undercutting him by saying you're the liberal mediaing him and saying that he shouldn't be president. I guess I'm a bit of a cuck. <laughs> I guess I'm a bit of a crux snowflake. <laughs> uh, I would bow down, prepare, and bend over. And that's how Will wants me. And that's how he'll keep me. So I hope I'm a good jester. I, was, I should have paid attention during the campaign trail. Or during school, remember. honestly. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, here's one that's actually pretty controversial. And uh, I disagree with it. Have you ever gone out with a fan? I disagree with it. <laughs> I'm going to say that that's a pretty weird thing to do. I don't think there's any situation where it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's one out there, but it's like you're in a position of power, you know? Yeah, and they think of you as like, they're more, this sounds very corny, but they are more in love with the idea of you yep. and your edited self than you. I just don't see any situation where that works out where you're, I mean, maybe there there has to be one. People right? ask me how I met Zoya. And, and she was a big fan of your videos? No, too. no, no. She went to a show, <laughs> but she was dragged to the show by her friends, and she didn't know who I was. And she fell in love with you immediately. So I just slid in under the radar of, like, <laughs> creepiness. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think back, because I've been doing this shit for a long time, and I've probably... Yeah, you're so old. I'm very old. <laughs> Did you cut your finger? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that I've, I don't think I've ever had a meaningful, long, uh, romantic relationship with a fan. Because I think that they're like, oh, you're much funnier in th your videos. Yeah. And I have to sit at this coffee shop and have a conversation with you, and this is going nowhere. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you stutter more. Edited uh, on camera is just a lot different. Like, I can't talk to anybody outside of my videos. Oh. I mean, look, let's practice a conversation right here. Okay, well, that's what we've been doing for 25 minutes. Yeah, but the camera's on. Yeah. But let's pretend the camera's off. We're just uh, having salads with together and... Oh. I also eat salads. 
Um, who's? This is a bad conversation because you're not good at it. And see. See. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Hey, everybody. That was our last question here on tabletalk.com with your host, Candace <laughs> Mike Falzone, and William Hand Septic. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And make sure to send us your questions to hashtag tabletalk uh, on all the different platforms on the internet around the daily show online and in the store today. Bye. And everybody watch all the videos that uh, these two do together because they put in way more hard work than I do on their white walls and they're extremely funny and go on the comment sections and try to leave funny comments. And then watch as they roast your comments on a show called ComCom at the end of every oh, week. Yeah. Let me cut. Also, stop drawing Candace so much. A bunch of other ones okay, of us want to be too. drawn. Mm -hmm. We're out of here. Also, start drawing Zach. I want to see an influx of ComCom -com art about Zach. I can write probably five pages, get bored, and never continue it. Let's get into the yeah, questions. I agree. This is Table Talk, not what do you think Candace's book is about? I don't know, you're gonna have to buy it. Wait, he sent so. me that picture and it did look like It looked you. like me. Um, yeah. So it's interesting because sometimes I'm like, I don't look like anybody, but then I'm like, I look like everybody. <laughs>